following statement uh, by these institutions, the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya, the Institute of Human Resource Management, Kenya, Institute of Supplies Management, Kenya, and the Institute of Certified Secretaries Kenya on the future of the Kenyan professional. These four institutions have this morning signed a memorandum of understanding to post the first interprofessional summit on the 20th to 22nd of March 2019 in an effort to promote synergy among professionals and ethical behavior in performance of their roles for the transformation of the Kenyan workplace and the economy. The theme of this conference is the future of the Kenyan professional. What are the expected ethical performance standards of professionals? And each institution, ISIPAC, IHRM, ISIM, ICS in its capacity, as we know it regulates its respective sector while promoting professionalism and continuous professional development. However, this is no longer enough. The ethical conduct of professionals has been questioned on numerous occasions, more so in the recent past as the country grapples with the fight against corruption. As regulators, we cannot remain silent as our country is destroyed in the hands of a few who fail to uphold the existing ethical codes of conduct. Each of our institutions has a code of conduct that should guide the professionals in the sectors. Ladies and gentlemen, during his Madaraka Day speech last year, His Excellency President Ron Kenyatta <coughs> issued a directive on fresh vetting for certain categories of public servants. This led to the immediate suspension and vetting of heads of appointment and accounting in ministries, departments, state corporations, and agencies. While professionals welcomed the noble exercise, which was geared towards determining the suitability of individuals to continue holding public office, as well as aid in the fight against corruption, there were fears that the exercise was not in good faith. A section of the media reported that the suspended officers were harassed and that the exercise was not entirely guided by the Constitution, international best labor practices, rules of natural justice, and other existing laws regulating employer-employee relations. As professional bodies, we have the legal mandate to protect our members from wrongful accusation, harassment, and intimidation. However, acknowledge the fact that the fight against corruption cannot be won by the government alone and related agencies. Professionals have a major role to play in ensuring ethical conduct at the workplace. Ladies and gentlemen, the first interprofessional summit will therefore bring together great minds in human resource, accounting, supply chain management, and government sectors in one of a kind of platform aimed at enhancing collaboration among professionals while promoting professionalism, ethical conduct, and effective alliances in every sector of our economy, or socioeconomic and political development. This will also impact the future of professionalism in our beloved country. Hardly do the different professionals who are members of the same bodies and who work together in organizations come together with the aim of appreciating what their colleagues in different functions do and how it affects their performance and overall performance of organizations. Why should a HR manager, supply chain manager, head of finance, or company secretary work together yet do not know what the other is expected to do for overall support of our economy? Business leaders are equally required to have an appreciation of each of these functions and how it affects the bottom line. Hence the need to bring together the different professionals and create meaningful and effective alliances. Among the areas of focus in this upcoming interprofessional summit is politics in the workplace. And our focus would also get into the effects of godfatherism, the godfather effect in the workplace, to empowerment and the collaboration of professionals Evolving professionalism across county governments in our country and building effective alliances, among others that we shall explore during this summit. 
Ladies and gentlemen, as professional bodies, we are committed to empowering our members with the current skills and information to not only uphold ethical conduct, but also eradicate corruption in their daily ventures. You might be surprised that in our daily work, we also commit certain actions that truly point towards corruption. It may seem small, but it ends up adding up to a bigger corruption. We challenge the national government, county governments, private sector, the not-for-profit players to enhance and uphold professionalism and ethical behavior for exemplary performance at the workplace and the economy in general. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, we take this early opportunity to invite all members of IHRM, ISPA, ICS, and KISIM, and other professionals in the public and private sectors, executives, county governments, legislature, the judiciary, governors, civil society, and other stakeholders to join professionals in this conversation and be part of the, of the shaping future of the Kenyan professionals during the first interprofessional summit in March 2019. This summit is for everybody who would like to come join other professionals, have conversations, interact, discuss, have a way forward of how we can professionalize if we truly deeply professionalize, and we are also going to work towards limiting or reducing the level of corruption in our country. And it's the first interprofessional summit of March 2019. Thank you, and God bless you.